Well, we lost another player due to his release clause. Rami Al Malek signed for Ren for only 20.5 million. Yeah, that's what you get when you manage in Spain. So what do you do when you get frustrated because you lost a wonder kid? You go and buy yourself a bunch of wonder kids. Hello there folks, welcome to our sixth season here with Valencia on FM24. So uh, after Al Malek signed for Ren for 20.5 million, we also lost uh, Gilamon. if you guys remember, he had the transfer arranged with AC Milan for 25 million. Luka Vrbancic went to Napoli for 25 million. Emil Hoylund went to these guys in Saudi Arabia for almost 7 million. Matthews Cunha to Inter for 82 million. We have a bunch of players out on loan, including uh, this young goalkeeper, Marguyu. Michael Olis went out on loan to Lazio with a mandatory future fee of 26 million. And unfortunately, Randall Correa went to Arsenal for 42.5 million. That can go up to 52. I really wanted to keep him, but he expressed his desire to join Arsenal. So I decided to let him go. So like I said, we signed a bunch of youngsters. Fabiano Chevalier from Flamengo for 12.5 million is an 18-year-old Brazilian central defender. I had the transfer arranged for him a season ago when he was 17, but we had to wait until he turned 18. Frank Moreau is uh, another youngster from Lyonnais, 9.5 million that can go up to 11. He is uh, an 18-year-old inverted wingback, left-footed, resolute personality, decent attributes. He's one for the future. Jan Weisek from Sparta Prague for 9 million. Get ready for this guy. I think he's just as good as Lipony. A deep lying playmaker, 19 year old, resolute personality, wonder kid that's already considered an important player here. And we're only paying him 11.5k per week. Jose is another youngster that we signed for 5 million. It was a release clause from Cartagena, 17 year old winger decent attribute lots of potential here and on transfer deadline day i decided to go big for this guy jonathan becerra from real Valladolid for 58 million that can go up to 85 19 year old winger great physical attributes great mental attributes decent technical attributes wonder kid of course free star ability already squad player 46.5k per week this guy is going places for now he will be back up to ben Doak. but that's not all i've also promoted a few youngsters let's start with david cuesta 19 year old right back decent attributes he's going to be back up of course milan hidalgo came through our youth system a few seasons ago he's 19 now he and he's looking great he's now considered to be a wonder kid of course he's been made available for the b squad we have David Yegg, but you guys already know him. Uh, who else? Manuel Bartolomi. He hasn't been promoted, but I kept him uh, as backup for a few matches because Napan was injured. Decent attributes for an advanced playmaker. Pabuena is going to be backup to Hugo Duro up front. He already scored a goal. And uh, I've also promoted Mario Molnar, who's now 20 and he looks a little bit better than Pabuena, to be honest. So this is the squad we are going with this season. I have over 300 million to spend. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of money. Oh, by the way, our minimum salary this season is over 2 million. Yeah, 2.3 actually. We are well below with uh, around 400k. So we have money to spend if we need to improve in January. This is our schedule for uh, the Champions League league phase this season. Home against Fiorentina, away at City, home against Barcelona, Chelsea and Shakhtar, and away at Juventus, Ajax and Dynamo Zagreb. Top 8, no problem. We started the season pretty well, but we did drop two points. Let's start with this uh, away win at Celta Vigo 1-0, Ben Dog scoring the goal. 5-0 victory against the Real Valladolid, Duro with a brace, Fresneda and Pedrola with a brace. A 3-1 victory away at Real Betis, shelter up with a hat-trick. We'll drop two points home against Espanyol, which was a spectacular 3-3. Hugo Duro with a hat-trick. 
3 0 victory against Mallorca, Ben Dog and Hugo Duro with a brace. And we end with a 3 2 victory away at Real Sociedad, shoulder up with a brace and Pabuena. In today's episode, we're gonna cover two Champions League games home against Fiorentina and away at Manchester City. And in between these matches, a home game in La Liga against Real Madrid. So let's get straight to it. Here's the first 11 that's gonna face Fiorentina in the Champions League. Ruestes, Dogu, Giscarlito, Diomande, Fresneda, Vaisek, Naipan, Gluck, Shelderup, Becerra on the right and Duro up front. So today you're gonna get to see two of our new signings, Vaisek and Becerra. I think we still have a strong squad. A stronger squad actually than last season because some of these players are still improving like Shelderup, Dorgu or just Carlito. So we're definitely going to challenge for the title again and probably for the Champions League as well. Nico Mantle takes a goal kick for Fiorentina for our first highlight. We get the ball back. Here's Becerra to Oscar. Loses the ball though. Long ball, Dorgu is there, now Naipan couldn't get to it, but Diomande does well, Becerra. Good ball to Fresneda, moving forward, Fresneda. Cross it dude, Fresneda to Oscar, Naipan, and we're one up after one and a half minutes. Great job, people. Three minutes later, and we see Fiorentina attacking. Oh, Hugo Duro does well there, Hugo Duro keeps going, square it dude to someone, here's a shoulder up, 2-0. Unbelievable, 5 minutes in and we're already tuning up. Can we get a record today? Come on, let's get the ball back. Do not uh, let Fiorentina score and come back into the game. I had a save with Fiorentina on my underdog's uh, save. Oh, they got one back immediately. Yeah, it was fun. My underdog save from uh, FM22. I played with uh, Lyonnais, Valencia. Leverkusen, West Ham, and uh, I ended the save with uh, Fiorentina. Yeah, it's 2-1. What a spectacular start of the season. Three goals in, what, six minutes. One shot, one goal for Fiorentina. Two shots, two goals for us. Dorgu with a throw in 24 minutes on the clock. Just Carlito, Vaisek, Fresneda, Becerra. Here's Oscar and uh, Naipan makes it 3-1. What a spectacular first uh, game uh, in the Champions League this season. 24 minutes in and we already had 4 goals. Dorgu with a throw in, shoulder up. Back to Dorgu. Here's the shoulder up again, shoulder up to make it 4. Good save from Mantle. Shoulder up takes uh, the corner. 5 more minutes to go. Can we score another one? Shoulder up. To Naipan, back to shoulder up. That was a lovely move. Becerra, another good opportunity. I would love for the youngster to score his first in today's episode. Shoulder up takes... Another corner. Near post. Diomande was there. Now Becerra. Shoot kid. No, don't shoot anymore. Here's a shoulder up now. That's probably the end of the highlight. Yes, it is. Can we get another one before half time? Yes, we do. Dorgu with a throw in. Here's a shoulder up again. Shoulder up is being involved uh, in uh, almost every single highlight. Naipan to Fresneda. To Oscar Gluck hits the post. Oh my word. Yeah, that's probably the score at half time, 3 1, and I'm pretty happy with it. There you go. I'm happy. Keep going, people. We got ourselves a kickoff highlight, okay? With a Fiorentina trying to get back into the game. Don't do it. Don't do it. They've done it immediately, 19 seconds into the second half, and Fiorentina got one back. It's 3 2. We need to score again. We got a corner now. Here's a Diomande. Becerra with another shot. He's the post. Just Carlito. Dorgu. Back to Just Carlito. Here's Dorgu again. Square it. You shoulder up. Fresneda now. Missed the target. Good shot there from Becerra. Unlucky. After this highlight, I'm going to make some substitutions. Dorgu with a throw into shoulder up. Here's a Naipa now. Vaisek. Shoulder up. Good shot. Mantle saves another one. We got an immediate highlight, so I'm going to make substitution after this one. Will the goal stand? Yes, it does. It's 4 2. Right. Let's make some subs now. Here's uh, Yagi for Dorgu. Guts will for Jess Carlito. Luengo for Vaisek. Do I bring in Pabuena? No. Let's see Mario Molnar. Yeah, let's see Molnar up front. Here's a Fresneda. After this highlight. Pabuena is coming in for Becerra, unless the guy scores. 
Actually, even if he does, I'm gonna sub him off. Yagi in the penalty area. Oscar scores again, and it's 5 2. Two goals from Oscar in the second half. Babuena is coming in for Becerra, like I said. Naipan is really tired, but I don't have any other substitutions. And Fresneda, it's out. Oh boy, one of our best players, it's out. And I cannot make any other substitutions, so I guess. I'm gonna use Diomande here and Luengo will have to play as a ball playing defender even though he's really not capable of it. Here's a Yagi back to rest as five more minutes to go. I'm uh, concerned about uh, Fresneda. Diomande, look at him go! Oh my word! Mantle now for uh, Fiorentina with a long ball. Luengo wins the header. We can't win the second ball though. It's a good opportunity for Fiorentina. Luengo misses the tackle and it's 5-3. Yeah, Luengo is not a central defender. It was a spectacular game with 8 goals and it's not over yet. Yeah, we're in stoppage time now. We deserve to win uh, this game. We have probably the last highlight of the game. Pabuena jumps for it. Now Diomande, here's uh, Pabuena. Yeah, calm down a little bit. Here's Diomande moving forward. Look at Diomande go. Molnar! So close for the youngster. Lovely move there. Especially from Diomande. Shelder up takes uh, the corner. Okay, far post for Diomande. A chance for a counter-attack maybe for Fiorentina. And it, yes, uh, the highlight ends. And we won the game 5-3 in a spectacular way. Nice work, people. There was nothing too serious with Fresneda, so he's ready to play in this massive home game against Real Madrid. Only one change to the first 11, uh, Ben Doak replaces Becerra. It doesn't happen too often when your favorites to win a game against Real Madrid. But we are today, slight favorites. Hopefully we're gonna get a win and get top of the league. Well, this was a boring first half. We finally get a highlight, 46 minutes on the clock. Here's Naipan to Vysek, Oscar. Missed the target completely. I guess we had all the highlights in that game against Fiorentina. Because we're approaching half time. Finally we get another one. With two more minutes to go from this first half. Diomande. Come on boys. We can win this. Real Madrid had the perfect start. Six game played. Six wins. Top of the league. Maximum points. They're not invincible. Shelder up. Shelder up to Doak. Fresneda. Fresneda. Shoot dude. Fresneda with one it up, come on, just before half time, that's more like it, Ben Doak on a 6.2, I might sub him off at half time, we get a kick off highlight though, one more minute added to the first half, don't equalize immediately please, yes Ben Doak recovers the ball, with his 6.2 rating he recovers the ball, but we lose it again, and there's an opportunity here for Real Madrid to equalize. George is there. Just Carlito does well. A chance for a counter-attack. He's Ben Doak. Ben Doak. Come on, dude. Why did you stop? Fresneda. Oh, my word. It's 1-1. One, one. Unbelievable, Fresneda. Vinicius Jr. Over the bar. We got away with it. For crying out loud. Okay. We're in front at half time. Keep working hard, I guess. Ben Doak now on a 6.8. Okay, Georgi takes a goal kick, just Carlito, that's it, calm down, Georgi, shoulder up, shoulder up loses the ball, Rodrigo is there, back to Courtois, here's a Hernandez, to... oh that's it, Oscar, oh he did brilliantly there, Oscar, come on square it, Oscar, he kept going and Vysak scores his first goal, or maybe not. I don't think he was offside or what the hell VAR is gonna check. I don't know what. It's goal awarded. That's it. Three minutes in the second half and we score again. It's Valencia to Real Madrid nil. All right, let's make some substitutions. Here's Estanis Pedrola for uh, Shelter Up. Where are you? Becerra for uh, Ben Doak. Fresneda is really tired, but he's having a good game. Sure, I trust uh, the youngster David Cuesta. Not in this game. Diomande is gonna play there. And Totibo comes in for Fresneda. Here's Naipan. Back to Totibo. Calm down, please. All the way back to Georgi. 
that's it just move the ball around and here you see that opening Naipan sees the opening for Hugo Duro who makes it 3-0 yeah I told you they're not invincible come on boys 67 minutes on the clock Hugo Duro makes it 3-0 and the job is done around 10 more minutes let's make some other substitutions here's the Luengo for Vysak who was uh, really tired Dominguez comes in for Naipan and that's all the substitutions I can make Hugo Duro takes a free kick. Just Calito just made it four. No, it's Estanis Pedrola. Okay, great job. Five more minutes to go. Yes, uh, Real Madrid's 20 game unbeaten run is about to be ended. That's it. Yes, it ended at Nuevo Mestalla 4 0. We are still going. Can we make it five? Come on, boys. Just Calito. Keep a clean sheet at least. Diomande. Here's Todibo. Luengo now, Luengo, good ball to Oscar, Oscar, he's the post, another good opportunity, was it Becerra, I believe it was, Hugo Duro takes a corner, three minutes to go, come on boys, can we make it five, Teodibo over the bar, oh my word, another injury, this time to Becerra, and we're gonna play with 10 men, we're gonna play like this, nobody up front. 17 shots, 8 on target, a better XG, only 3 shots on target for Real Madrid. We deserved to win this game. Austria charms, well done lads. I forgot to mention that Sudakov is out injured. Yes, he's been injured for the last couple of uh, weeks. Becerra will be out for the next couple of weeks. I said uh, against uh, Real Madrid, I only made one change to the first 11. That was a lie because I played the Georgi in goal. Georgi plays uh, in La Liga and Rest is here. In the Champions League. Diorgu, Todibo, Diomande, Fresneda, Vaisek, Naipang, Gluck, Doke, Shelderup and Duro. Well, it's probably the toughest game uh, of uh, the episode away at Manchester City. They still have Haaland, of course. Foden, Silva, Senguskar is there. Our former player. Maybe I should have went with the no pressure team talk, but we are a big team now. We are a big club and we don't need to tell them there's no pressure. No matter where we play. Here's uh, Vardiol for Manchester City. 20 minutes in and we get our first highlight. Ruben Diaz to Bakayoko. A good player, Bakayoko. They signed him from Ajax or PSV. I don't remember exactly. I wanted to sign him. We're 1 0 down. Phil Foden with his fourth goal of the season. We're expected to lose this game. And if we do, it's not the end of the world. We still have six more matches to go in this league phase and I'm pretty sure we're gonna finish top eight. Okay, we're approaching half time and we didn't have a single shot. We're not having a good game, especially up front. Here's another highlight for Manchester City. Oh, they almost made it too. Uh, he hit the post there. Yeah, it's half time, one nil, kind of a boring game. We didn't have a single shot. That's really disappointing. Here's uh, Todipo receiving the ball from Orestes. Naipen now to shoulder up. Come on, boys. Can we get a shot on target, please? Shoulder up. Vysek back to shoulder up. Good move there. Hugo Duro hits the crossbar. Oh, my word. Such a big opportunity for Hugo Duro. The highlight continues with Manchester City here. He was offside and that's the end of it. Diomande takes uh, the free kick immediately. From that offside position, Oscar to Ben Dog loses the ball. He gets it back though. Leaves Vardiol on the way. Oscar to shoulder up. It's 1-1. Let's go, boys. Come on. Shoulder up is uh, one of our best players now. Him, Fresneda and uh, Oscar Gluck are on a different level. So is Diomande, you might say, even though in this game he's on a 6.5. Here's Ben Dog to Naipan, loses the ball. Uh, that was a good tackle, a clean tackle. Vardiol now. Rodrigo. Here's uh, Haaland. That was a good tackle, but they still have the ball. Haaland, penalty. No, it was a huge opportunity. I guess it's a corner, so Restes did all right there. Ferdi, who the hell is that guy? Was a good cross for Vardiol. We dealt with it. Maybe we can deal with it again. Ruben Diaz. Ruggeri. And that's uh, the end of the highlight. Come on, let's make some substitutions. Shoulder up is really tired. 
Guturo is on a 6.5, Ben Doak on a 6.4. Pedrola is coming in for Ben Doak. Yeah, Pedrola can play as a winger. And I guess that's all for now. I'm gonna keep Shelder up for maybe 10 more minutes, even though he's really tired. And I'm probably gonna bring in Dominguez for him and play Naipan as an inside forward on the left or Oscar Gluck. Well, actually, they're saying I should bring Mario Molnar. Of course, the guy can play there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it after this highlight. Mario Molnar is gonna come in for Shelder up. Why not? Here's Naipan to Oscar Gluck. Oscar Gluck, great ball to Shelder up. Back to Oscar Gluck. Come on! How about that? We are Valencia, dudes. Yeah. What a ball here. And uh, I wasn't expecting that uh, ball from shoulder up to Oscar Gluck. Lovely, lovely, lovely move. Now let's make the substitution. Molnar comes in for shoulder up, who was really tired. Let's praise them for what they just done. What a great goal that was. That actually might be a goal of the season contender right there. Oscar, Naipan. Vicek, I should waste some time, but let's see this highlight. Fresneda does well again, leaving a player behind Hugo Duro over the bar. Yeah, let's waste some time and play for set pieces. Sure, Fresneda will get subbed off and Cuesta comes in for the last two minutes. We've won away at Manchester City 2-1. I wasn't expecting this win. Our best performer shelter up. We didn't have a single shot on target in the first half. But we proved everyone wrong and we turned things around in the second half. Yeah, talk about a great episode, a spectacular 5-3 win uh, against Fiorentina, 4-0 destruction of Real Madrid and a surprising win away at Manchester City. Right, for next episode I'll skip this game against Barcelona in the Champions League. However, we will meet Barcelona next episode. We're gonna start with this home game against Chelsea. Home against Etafe, away at Barcelona in the league and we'll end with this home game against Shakhtar. Yeah, four matches next episode. Until then, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel while you're at it, leave a comment. I'll see you guys for the next one.